this is Maria. I am uh, sitting in my car right outside of Dollar Tree. Let me turn it off for my, for making noise. Okay, and um, I actually have a list with me before going in, so I'm going to share it with you, and then we will see how well I do uh, in sticking to my list. I have it written down here. Let me see if you can see it. Is it gonna? Uh, I don't know if it's straight. That's my ugly handwriting. So my Dollar Tree list is to get um, two packs of Oxy Wash, um, AIM toothpaste, two large zip totes, uh, gallon size zip totes, clear loot bags, packing tape, um, two packs of that, uh, mailing envelopes. I'm not sure about that. Um, I might get that, I might not. I don't know if it's actually going to be worth it because I'm uh, getting them for um, my eBay sa sales that I've started to do recently. Uh, bubble wrap, um, definitely will get that. Some Easter window clings because I don't really do a lot of heavy decorating for every holiday. I figured uh, just window clings for my back door, which is, you know, the glass sliding doors would be cute. That's what I've been doing for, I did that for, um, uh, uh, Valentine's Day. Oh, sorry. Actually, I should have put in here St. Patty's Day because that's coming up before Easter even. But anyways, and then pencil leads for my daughter. So it's a pretty substantial list, um, you know, for basic stuff. So if you think that's going to be a boring haul, then you, you can, I guess, stop watching now. But hopefully I'll have a couple of other things too. I'll, let's see. Hello YouTube friends, this is Trinity coming at you with a YouTube haul. Actually, mommy will probably be, have to be my hands for this, but here we go. Okay, so I had a list earlier today. I went to the Dollar Tree during my lunch. Well, no, actually Trinity didn't go with me. It was just me during lunch. She stayed home. Hi Trinity. Okay, so she wants to be up here right now. And we're gonna let her. Okay. So let me just show you the couple things I got. This was on my list. The large storage bags. These are the Ziploc ones. But see how big they are. And um, I have been purchasing some items to sell on eBay. And some of them, um, you know, I don't have enough bins to store everything. So some of them are just going in these storage bags. And um, I'm just getting two for now, but I might need more later. Um, and I'm just get, taking this out in the order that it's here. This was also on my list, but I think I only got one box. Nope. Yeah, I only got one box. Um, and it's just a Ziploc type gallon size bags. And um, for what I use them, I don't need them to be all, you know that strong or anything so I just got the one that had the most quantity and this was 10 in this box so I got that then I found these um, Noxzema razors and I need razors so one second Okay, so I had heard people say not to use the uh, Dollar Tree razors, but this is the Noxzema brand and there's only two in here, so I'm going to try these. I think they'll be just fine. Okay, now this wasn't on my list either, but uh, we can always use hand sanitizer in this nice big uh, container. Uh, will last a while and I bought two of those. To put one in each of the cars and where's the other one I think it might have gotten taken to the car already okay so um, now it's really interesting today uh, several of the things that I got were like the last ones there and like for example I picked up this bath soap uh, we usually just use ivory soap sorry about the noise the animals are coming down the stairs. Okay. Yes, that was the dog and the husband. Okay. So I picked this up. It was actually open like this, but uh, it was the only one there. I looked around and it smells really good. But what I liked was that the mat um, materials, ingredients, it seemed to be very natural. Let's see if I can. 
like all natural ingredients and um, so I want to try it for a dollar I mean hey pretty box too I might even have to use these little pieces of box or something how terrible or what okay so I got that uh, this was on my list aim toothpaste now my daughter wanted minty toothpaste so I got her that one and then I got this kids bubble flavored one Is it bubble gum yeah bubble berry for the little guy so there's that what else is on my list um, oh I had window clings on my list because like I said I really decorate a lot for every holiday but I have been putting window clings on my glass lighting doors and I don't really necessarily I mean I decorate with Easter bunnies and eggs a little bit but I don't like to go overboard with that so I really like this cling because it's got a lot of springy stuff you know the butterfly the love those ladybugs look at that bee smiling and uh, it does have a little Easter bunny with some Easter eggs but it also like most of it is other things so I just got two of these to put on the window and even before we do that we're gonna do a little bit I mean it's already what March 7th so we really only have 10 more days for St. Patty's Day but I got two of these I mean gotta have a pot of gold and there's some leprechauns so that's pretty cool I got those and I'll put that right there and this was also on my list I wasn't sure I was gonna get them but I went ahead okay so I had some uh, bubble wrap envelopes I actually used one of these already because I had an eBay item that sold and I shipped it in, in the other one of this and um, but I got these I got some just plain manila ones this comes five in a pack and a little bit larger these are two in here and then one large one that was a whole dollar for this but um, like I said I've got some eBay auctions going on and I thought these might be good for shipping I wanted to get bubble wrap also but they were out there was absolutely no bubble wrap so I didn't get that another thing they didn't have that I was looking for was the scotch packing tape Oops. Stuck to my bag. Okay, I've already used a little bit of this. I did find this one, and so there's a nice, you know, decent amount of tape there. And like I said, I've already used a little bit. Um, but this was the last one. Again, that soap it was the last one. This tape was the last one they had. Another thing that was the last one they had was um, this hand soap. Now I make my own hand soap. You know, I mix up. Just water and Castile soap and um, some essential oils but I do it foaming because if, when you do it like you know the homemade one it comes out really liquidy but if you put it in a foam container then it comes out nice and foamy so uh, whenever I find these containers I get them because um, you know after a while they get all I don't know clogged or, or broken or, or whatever so I have a couple of them from uh, leftover from Bath and Body Works but when I find these at the dollar store, I get them to at least one. And this happened to be the only one. So last time I actually got these, when I got it home, the, f the, the foam pump wasn't working, which was really annoying. So I actually tested this at the store since it was the only one. And uh, yeah, I got foam on my hands and I have to wipe it off. But okay, I got that. Um, I also, this was also on my list. The awesome oxygen orange cleaner and this is for my laundry soap that I mix myself as well um, so I do this and this I got two of them which is an awesome deal because they also have the smaller you know the blue label ones but it's half the quantity so for a dollar this is great um, let's see what else this the rest of the stuff was not on my list but I actually had wanted to pick this up for Trinity this is a, a little harness and it's just a cheap little simple one but I wanted to try a harness on her I have been using just regular collar and now she has um, she has a little bulged disc on her neck and she we actually had to take her to the doctor over the weekend it was so sad so um, I got her this little harness to, to try out 
Um, and I was actually thinking that I could even use this as a pattern to make one for her, but um, you know, we're gonna try that out when she's ready to go on walks again. And then I picked up some Dawn dish soap because I actually use it for some different recipes I've seen on YouTube and stuff. And these little cuties are sticking out. You know, I had asked the uh, Dollar Tree workers a long time ago if they were having getting paper straws and they didn't even know what I was talking about. Lo and behold, now we have paper straws at my Dollar Tree. I'm so excited. Look how pretty these are. Let's see if that comes in. Oh yeah. Come on, come on, flowers. They're little flowers anyways. There you go. Look at that, aren't they pretty? So I am going to do something with these in the kitchen. Uh, or maybe I'll make another little coffee tea station and um, something, but those were just too cute to pass up. Then, actually these kind of look like they go with that, but I also picked up some thank you cards. Okay. And we're getting that to the end. I picked up this. I like the smell. I, I don't really like to use this too much, but when I really want my clothes to smell good, I, I like to throw some, um, you know, that Dry tropical sheets. smell was really good. So um, I got these, and look, you get 55. So cool. And I also picked up some batteries. Now these I don't use very often, but I actually picked up a couple of things at the thrift store. And I know I've been meaning to do a thrift store haul, but because I've actually done a lot of stuff at the thrift store recently, both for myself and to for to resell, um, that I haven't really done videos on. Um, but anyways, there were a couple of things we picked up that required batteries, and we found out there were these, like C and D batteries. Couldn't remember how many, but I figure six should be more than enough. And so I picked up six. Uh, D and 6C batteries to try out the stuff and maybe I'll make a video about that too and last but not least I picked up this book thought it was interesting it's got a price tag on it see it says list price $11.95 you pay $8.96 but get, guess what I paid a dollar so I did, again this was the last one at least I didn't see any others like it but it looks like a fun my husband and I are movie buffs, movie buffs, so I thought this would be kind of fun for a buck. So spent about $33 with all this stuff, but it was mostly, you know, kind of stuff that I needed for the house and just a tiny bit of decoration. So I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, if you want to see more of uh, my hauls if you've got questions about what i'm doing on ebay i'm really just getting started we've only just sold a couple of things i'm still trying to learn what actually sells and um we'll see but i'm kind of enjoying it too all right well thank you so much for watching if you have not already and would like to please subscribe um if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you didn't, go ahead and give me a thumbs down too. That's that's fine. Any activity is good. <laughs> All right. I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next one.